my swimming cap. Isn't that if you can see the sea over there? No, not really. Because I have to leave my bag just like by the side. I can't really um take my phone down there just in case it gets stolen. But then like if my keys got stolen, I wouldn't have a phone anyway, so it'd all be a palaver. What's your thoughts? But yeah. So we've got this bad boy on. The hairs in the back just don't go in. Go back. Come. <laughs> I just had my swimming lesson in the sea. And it was honestly when you get out, <laughs> it's just so cold. <laughs> so cold. Oh, Hello. I'm back in my bedroom. I'm not in the swimming pool. I'm not in the bloody sea. Closer. I'm not in the sea. You know, I'm just here in the house. So today's Sunday, the 28th of August. And today was meant to be my rest day, but we actually went to um, a gym in Eastleigh and just did some weights because we've wanted to go there for ages because it has really good um equipment so we went there um and then i basically just went like food shopping did all my stuff and basically every sunday i do a plan for the next week especially now i've got so much going on in regards to, like juggling work swimming running jiu-jitsu strength training pts um life just seems really busy at the moment so writing it all down just helps me deal with it um but today i actually bought some stuff for um like my wash bag i guess for for when i'm gonna be in the quarantine in the hotel because like normally i just buy stuff when i'm like on holiday like i just buy um shampoo and whatever there but obviously i don't know where i'm going to be so I'm, um got loads of stuff from boots today um it's in tesco's bag because you know i reuse my bags um so i bought a new wash bag i'm not really sure why because i have like 100 but jerry's just in the shop like, oh, yeah i just need one but you don't um i bought actually a disney one this was like the only option to be honest so i don't know why i'm acting like this was my choice because it wasn't but i'm not really sure how it works really soon um, I'm gonna be so it has like some zips which is great it has some zips okay so what did I get so I've got some hair bands because I haven't um I normally don't use these because I find like, what, do you know when you pull the hair band out, it's really bad for the ends of your hair. Like, it like creates more dead ends. Like elastic bands and stuff, I think these are equally as bad. And um, do you know when you put it in for like a ponytail or a bun, I think it's like quite damaging for that new part of your hair. Um, so I don't actually personally use these very often, but I literally don't have any in the house even for when I need them. So I grabbed some of those, so I'm going to put two of those in my one of my zips um i also got some like do you know that the little section section the little section like the travel section so got some of those um i also got a new hairbrush i don't know if you guys use um the wet hairbrushes i actually have like another one it's like black and it's really big um but this one's apparently really good like the ones with the gaps in for when your um your hair's wet so i bought one of these not necessarily for this but um just because um yeah they're really good yeah 
So I've got one of those. Um, I've got some little mini toothpaste. I actually got two because I don't know why. Um, I've got two of those. And then I obviously got these like mini shampoo and conditioners. But obviously this will literally last like one wash. So I also got some... Um, because when in the summer, so I don't know if I'm going somewhere hot or cold, but if it's in the sun, like after um, being in the sun for a long time, my hair gets quite like like blonde streak. So this will help highlight that. Um, I got a little pot of sun cream. Um, I actually, don't call me a skank, yeah. But I never, ever, ever have worn deodorant. I mean, never. Like, um, like I've obviously tried it, but never continuously or anything like that. Um, I don't wear it when I'm training. Like, never wear it, never worn it. Never been a huge fan. I actually think it makes me smell worse. Um, I'm not a very odoury person either. Like, I don't, like, I'm very sweaty. Like, when I'm training, I'm literally, like, leaking water. But, um, it doesn't really smell. Like, it doesn't smell of anything. Um... And I just think with deodorant, it just makes it worse. However, someone someone had recommended me this like roll-on one. Because um, I was saying to them that I basically don't wear deodorant. And they were like, that's so crazy. Like, can't believe you don't wear deodorant. And I was saying like, um, basically to my mum, how I'm a bit worried about like, obviously, I'm going to be wearing like, obviously at home, I get to get in the shower wash and then get in a change of clothes but obviously there i won't get to do that so like i'll be i think it's alternating between two outfits um continuously and it could get a bit smelly so i have bought this just in case but generally i'm not a big fan of deodorant of any kind um and then i just bought like a basic sponge to wash myself um some hand sanitizer which i think will probably be the least to my worry um and then i just bought um this is not for traveling but um i just bought a new hair mask uh this is just for like dry hair like my hair isn't really damaged because i've never but my hair gets quite dry in the summer so this will help give it some oils and then i couldn't resist every time i go to boots i end up buying something from so like the soap and glory section because the smell is just something else that's just so good so i'm very happy with that um and i'm sure there's other bits i need to add here like little hair bands to like clap my hair face moisturizer um like daily moisturizer for obviously when i'm in the hotel I'm gonna add some like face masks and stuff because obviously I'm gonna be quarantined on my own, so I'll be very bored. Um, but yeah, this is the little start of my um, little wash bag, which is exciting. I wonder how this works then. So, do I do this? That is exactly how it works. Just like this. And then, do I tuck this? Or? Oh, and it has like a little pouch here, so I'll just tuck that in there, do the up. That's very cute, I'm very happy about that. Some reason, oh, and I did spend way too much on just that. Let's not think about that. Um, okay, peace out. Let's see you again. Should I actually like show you around today? Let me go show you the sea because I actually have like 15 minutes. Just some nice. Just so nice. Just out here. It's a Wednesday morning. The sun is shining. Today I'm not going to wear a wetsuit either. Let me turn you around. Did I get that bad morning? I don't know if you can see. Wow. 
Wow. It looks a bit cold out there to be fair. I'm going to be dying. Right guys, so it's, what's the date today? Sunday the what? Oh. It's Sunday the 4th. We're in Bournemouth and we're doing a run slash walk. This is what we slick side. Trying to get off this sandbank front because you can't really walk, you can't really run here. And then we're gonna get our boots back on. Well, my boots back on. Now get their trainers back on. And then we will. Honestly, my ankles are dying. Um, my ankles feel like I've been wearing high heels. Oh, we're currently on 14 kilometres, getting a little dip in the sea, a little break. So it looks like we are hit a total of like oh, 28 kilometres, roughly, which will be good. Oh, my feet are dying there. My feet are absolutely dying. What's 28 kilometres in miles? Yeah. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, about 15 miles. Yeah, the whole thing. Peace out. I've got the food. I've got red pad thai curry. He's got noodles, they got dried chicken. So guys, we're now on 16 miles. We're just getting to the car. 